Hello, welcome to the homework for lesson 14. This is for module three of grade three. Write your name here first so you don't forget it later. And we're just multiplying and then we're adding the digits for each product. So when we look at the digits we're looking at here for 90, we have a digit of nine, nine tens, and our ones digit is zero. So we're adding nine and zero and we get nine. Same thing. We've Multiply 9 times 9, we get 81. We have a tens digit of 8. There's our 8, and we add it to our 1's digit of 1, and it's 8 plus 1, 9. So that's adding the digits, and you're going to see a pattern. 8 times 9, 72. 7 plus 2 is 9. 7 times 9 is 63. 6 plus 3 is equals 9. 6 times 9 is 54. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 5 times 9 is 45. 4 plus 5 also equals 9 when you add those digits together. 4 plus 9, 36. That's 3 plus 6 equals 9. 3 times 9 is 27. That's 2 plus 7, and that equals 9. 2 times 9 is 18, that's 1 plus 8, those are the digits, they equal 9, and 1 times 9 is just 9, but you might think of 0 and 9 like that, so 0 plus 9, or if you don't have one of the digits because you only have 1s and no 10s, 0 10s, 9 1s, that is 9. What pattern did you notice? And how can this strategy help you check your work with nines facts? Well, if you should be able to see the, the pattern is that they're all, every single one of them, the digits add up to nine. So the sum of the tens and ones digit always equals 9. And how can this, that's, so there's one question there. We have another question to answer. How can this strategy help you check your work with 9's facts? If If a product of nine, there's lots of ways to say this. Many other ways. Maybe you, you can find a, a way to say that doesn't it, it goes a little bit better or is easier to say if a, or easier to write. If a product of nine. doesn't have digits that add up to nine then it is wrong And you can also use it to figure out nines facts you don't know. Uh, that's one of the tricks that, you, that you, a lot of people use to remember their nines facts in the beginning. Thomas calculates 9 times 7 by thinking about it as 70 minus 7 equals 63. Explain Thomas' strategy. So I can do this with an equation. Uh, we can say... 10 nines uh, I'll write a sentence no nope. is equal to 
10 nines is equal to 70. Oh, no, it's not 10 nines, it's 10 sevens. Ooh, I gotta fix that. Erase that 10 sevens. Ten sevens is equal to seventy, and nine. Let me fix that. And nine sevens is one. Seven less, so seventy minus seven equals nine sevens. There. Uh, Alexa, right, because that's that 70 is 10 sevens, and that's seven, so now that's one less seven, so nine sevens is one seven less, so there we go. Uh, it's, a, it's a shortcut you can use, because tens, multiplying by tens really easy, and you just subtract, right? And then you can use your parts of 10 to figure out, well, that's a seven, so you know your other part's gonna have to be three, and it's gonna be one less 10, because you're gonna have to break up one of those tens. When you, when you do your subtraction, because you you're starting with zero ones whenever you have a multiple of 10. Alexia figures out the answer to six times nine by lowering the thumb on her right hand. What is the answer? Okay, so the product of six times nine equals 54. And I'm going to use this picture to number, to label it, tens, ones. So that's one, two, three, four, five tens, and this is one, two, three, four ones and I put this arrow right here on the thumb to show where I start counting ones and stop counting tens so now I have to say that so the sixth thumb This is not the thumb, it's the sixth finger. The sixth finger separates the tens on the left. from the ones I don't, I don't want to call them ones digits they are digits but from the ones on the right Travis writes 72 equals 9 times 8 is he correct? Explain at least two strategies Travis can use to check his work. So I'm just going to use the ones that we just we just had, so that we just practiced. So here's Travis's hands. Right, he's going to need a thumb, one, two, three, four fingers. Oops, and uh, you can, might be able to tell right away that my left hand has this thumb in the wrong place. So I'm going to start over. One, two, three, four, and a thumb. 
And my other hand has to have a thumb and only four more fingers. One, two, three, four. And so we we're going to look at the eighth finger here, right? Because it's nine times eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the eighth finger we don't count. So I'm going to circle the eight there. And then I'm going to count. So these are all tens. And these are on the other side here. These are ones, one, two ones. So seven tens, two plus two ones equals seventy two. So eight nines equals seventy two. And then uh, we want to explain the other one, we're, we're, the adding of the digits, right? So uh, 72, 7 plus 2 equals 9. The sum of the digits. For 72 is 9, so 72 is a product of 9. The third strategy we used, you could have also used this one to say that... Uh, 10 times 8 equals 80, and 80 minus 8 equals 72. You could have done that also.